everyone, I'm Jamie from Ink Brigade in Portland, Oregon. We're a screen printing shop here in Portland. And I'm going to be talking today about uh, how important it is to have retentionable frames. So, um, I'm actually going to talk a lot about guitars and how the relationship with guitars um, mixes in with the relationship of a static frame and a retentionable frame. So, right here I have a Gibson, a 87 Gibson uh, SG Custom, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but I just put some new strings on it, and we just tuned it up. Wouldn't if if a guitar didn't have tuners, that's what a static frame would be. Uh, so it would be the equivalent to buying a guitar that you cannot retune. Now, with new strings on a guitar. Is a, is a lot like mesh. Um, when you first get it and you tighten it up to um, the Newton level that you want on mesh or the, um, the notes that you want to on the guitar strings, uh, when you first get it, they start to lose Newtons on the screen printing mesh or on the guitar um, strings, they'll not keep their um, pitch or notes. So, um, you'll see when I play this guitar, it'll start to go out of tune, even though right now... Right now it's in tune. So, um, let's uh, play a little bit. You can already hear that it's out of tune. So, it's ever so slight. But the more you play, um, the more it will get out of tune. sound. That one's really bad. That was not so bad. So you can tell that the strings are now out of um, tune. <clears throat> so what you do with a guitar to keep it in tune is um, analogous to what you do in screen printing uh, with a retentionable frame and it's called work hardening. Now basically um, when you get new guitar strings on your guitar, you can do one of two things. You can either play it a bunch and retune it, and play it a bunch and retune it, play it a bunch and retune it, or you can stretch the strings like I am now, and what that's doing is it's um, flexing the, str the strings. Now eventually, these uh, what'll, what'll happen is I'll tune these back up and play some more, and I'll get out of tune, and I'll stretch them some more, and you'll go through that a few times, and then at some point, when you go to stretch the strings, you won't have to retune anymore. And that's work hardened. That's what work hardened screens are. So, on a uh, static screen printing screen, you don't really have the option. Well, you absolutely don't have the option for that because you print, which is like stretching out the strings on a guitar, and then you have no way to tune up the frame because it's glued. So, um, if you had a retentionable frame, like a Newman roller frame here, um, you would be able to tune up the frame and get it to that work-hardened state, which you're not able to get with a static frame. So, now that I've stretched these strings a little bit, you'll, you'll hear how bad they sound. And I didn't touch the tuning pegs at all. This is just how out of tune it's gotten from uh, being used before being work hardened. So <clears throat> we'll take a look at a different guitar here. This is my Les Paul. It's a good guitar. These strings have actually been on for a few days. And you 
can tell it's it's in tune. <coughs> and as I play it and play it and play it, it always stays in tune. <laughs> that it's in tune and you can actually we can actually go through and stretch the strings a little bit and it may need a little tuning but not as bad see that one's out a little bit So I think you understand, um, or hopefully that's explained to you uh, what work hardening is um, on a screen when you hear that. Now, uh, with a static frame, a wood frame that's glued, or an aluminum frame that where the screen mesh is glued, once you start using it, you can't retune it. You can't work harden it. Um, so that would be, you know, and, and a lot of people think, oh, these frames are um, cheap. Let's just go with these. Um, the problem is you can't retune it. So it's a lot like buying a guitar that's in tune, but not being able to ever retune it. And so essentially you just have to throw the guitar away. And so ultimately that becomes not very cost effective. Um, one good thing to have if you have a guitar is a tuner. I would suggest getting one of these. And even if you don't have Newman roller frames, a good thing to have would be a tuner for um, your screens. And this isn't called a tuner, obviously. Uh, it's called a tension meter. It's made by stretch devices. Um, and you can put these on your, your screens. Um, if you have static frames, you can stick them on there, see what kind of Newtons, you know, see what pitch the frames are at. And after you use them, you can see that they're slowly going out of tune, losing Newtons, losing their pitch. Um, and then you know, you're kind of out of luck because you can't, you can't retune. So that's the nice thing about a retentionable frame is um, you first put the mesh on and you have to retention it a few times when you first get it to get that work hardened state, that state where it doesn't lose tension, the state where, the state where it stays in tune. And uh, once it's work hardened, um, the screen's pretty much good to go for uh, as long as, as the, the mesh lasts or, you know, as long as you don't drop it and, uh, on something sharp or drop something sharp on it. Um, but then at that point, instead of having to um, buy a new guitar like you would with the untunable guitar, you can actually change the strings on your mesh or on your roller frame. So you would just change the mesh, work hard in the mesh, and you're good to go again. So... You know, to, to summarize, and I, and I know I'm drawing a lot of analogies here, but um, you know, you can buy a cheap you can buy a cheaper guitar that you can't tune, and you play it until it's out of tune, and then you throw it in the garbage. You can buy a more expensive guitar that you can keep for years. I mean, this is an '87. This guitar is more than 20 years old. Um, and all I do is just buy a $5 pack of strings, put it on, work hard in them, and uh, you know, she's as good as the day, the day she was new. So, and and that that's kind of how it is with the retentionable frames, with the Newman roller frames. Just put some new mesh on, work hard in it, and you're good to go. Just like brand new. So, um, I'll be putting some more videos out soon, so please stop back.